Looks like it's going to be a pretty soggy night here at TIAA Bank Field. Rain showers, maybe an occasional clap of thunder supposed to continue throughout here in Jacksonville. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Indianapolis Colts and the Jacksonville Jaguars. It's the marquee game of opening weekend, and off we go on a Sunday night on EA Sports. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. look is incomplete yeah that one sailed on him you've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted they'll make the circus catches but they make them out of bounds that does you no good a second down throw for Prescott that's complete to Hines out of the backfield it's a four-yard pickup, and they're going to face a third down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. On third down, it's Prescott. Open man, Smith-Schuster, it's complete. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. And a nice start there to the aerial attack to pick up the first. And I think preseason is officially over now. Getting into the groove of the regular season, that's a great way to get started. First drive of the season, what a nice completion. A first down throw for Prescott. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. The positioning here is key. As a defensive back, you're taught 99% of the time, make a play on the football. But in this case, making a play on the man was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. On second and 10, Prescott. And he whips that one incomplete there. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open. And this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. They'll throw again. Prescott. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. Was hoping to make a play there on the return with his speed. Instead, he makes a play for the other side. Yeah, and how many times have we heard coaches say, you know, sometimes it's not really about those X's and O's we draw up. It's about those Jimmy's and Joe's. <laughs> and when you have a punt returner, he's one of those Jimmy's and Joe's, one of the best athletes. He's unable to make the play that they were seeking, though. So first and 10 now from the 30. Let's go, Heavy. Heavy, what you got? What you got, Heavy? What you got? What? What? Squeeze. They'll start on the ground with Harris. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 11 yards there for Jacksonville and a first down as well. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. This is caught at the 20. Touchdown, Jaguars. DJ Chark. 
59 yards as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. We now we this. get to turn it all loose. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Here's Prescott. Forced out to his left. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. Out of the gun, here's a give to Mack. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. A 14-yard gain for Indianapolis, and also move the sticks. Coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend show that he's right. Prescott on first down. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Able to get there and pick it. Well, they didn't exactly show patience there, did they? Just down a score, they come out firing right away and compound things by throwing an interception. They put their defense in a really tough spot. Come on. You better bring it. Pilot, 64, win. Kill, kill, kill. Kill, kill. Go. Okay, go. Minshew, first and 10, escaping the pressure right. And now he's going to use his legs. And he gets it here to right around the 24 before he's out of bounds. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Here's Minshew. Gets this one to Hill, and they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now Minshew on first and 10. That is caught by Josh Oliver, the former San Jose State Spartan. A Jacksonville first down on a pickup of 17. Almost not fair. The big guy running the corner route, being able to lean and push and get to where he wants. So how do you stop it? A lot of times you want to have a linebacker on him, a bigger body guy who can handle him physically. But a lot of times that doesn't work as well because his quickness often wins the route. Now Minshew. It's brought in by Harris. Still fighting for touchdown, Jaguars. A great effort there. His first NFL reception goes for six. And the Jaguars are able to widen their lead. Well, he's used to running it that distance. Here he had to catch it, too, before making the run. Heck of a play for the score. There's not many things better for an offense than a back who is a complete guy who can run it and catch it. And we just saw him complete a big-time play for a touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. Gets past one man. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? A big play there for Andy. 58 yards. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. Throwing. Prescott. Oh, 
a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. To throw is Prescott. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. They'll try to run with Hines. And he takes it in for a Colts score. A three-yard touchdown run as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. No success on first down. He couldn't get any yardage. They give it to him again, and he finds the end zone. Sometimes it just has to be persistence, doesn't it? And you know who else helps with that? Offensive line. After a team's been stuffed, the last thing they want to do is go to a different play call. They want to come back and do it again and show that they can dominate the line of scrimmage. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And thus far, the weather has not slowed this offense down one bit. They've looked good so far in the first half. They certainly have. And think back to our meeting with the head coach. And we asked him because we saw the forecast for this game, didn't we? We said, hey, have you prepared for this? And he talked about the different drills that they've done in adverse conditions, the wet ball drills, things of that nature. He said, I don't think it's going to slow us down much. We tend to handle it pretty well, and he's been right. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Throwing on second down now, Minshew. And going deep for Hill. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. That one goes for 36 yards. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Minshew sets to throw. Flushed out right. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Emmanuel Agba able to run him down for a loss of 12 that time. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one, and that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down, so hang on. A big call coming on third down. Let's go now. 15 line. 15 line. He's checking, he's checking. It's three. 218, jump. Throwing on first down is Minshew. And that ball is caught by DJ Chark for the Jags touchdown. DJ Chark already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Jaguars are able to widen their lead. And the kick here no good, but a penalty flag is down. Looks like he got run into. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. This is taken at the three. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And this not an easy situation. You're down early, in the elements, you're on the road. How do you get the mojo back? Well, one thing is to remember that as an offensive player, you have a much better idea of what you're trying to accomplish and where you're trying to go. 
than the defender. So in this case, because you know it, you can make your cuts with a little more decisiveness, maybe a second fake, some double moves, things of that nature, to go ahead and try and put some pressure on the defense. Throwing again on second and 10. Prescott got a man open, it's Ross. Indianapolis moving the chains there on a gain of 12. Play action now, Prescott. Blitz coming and down he goes. How about that? One of the so-called little guys putting the pressure on. That was a strong safety. When I was in college, we often called that a lightning blitz. Now they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Now Prescott is going to let this one go deep. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Have to give a lot of credit to the defense on that play. They were prepared. Ordinarily, when they take the big shot downfield to the big guy, that's usually a mismatch that the offense is used to winning. But the preparation showed for the defense, and they were a little bad it away. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. DeForest Buckner with a sack, the former number seven overall pick. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. Nearly a huge return, as it is still a very good one. 24 yards, and the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. A very good starting field position for the Jaguars offense as they come up first and 10 at their own 46. Here's a run on first down that doesn't accomplish anything. In fact, he's going to be tackled behind the line for a loss of one. It'll be a loss of a yard, and it'll be second and 11. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. We remind you that coming up at the half, we'll hand things off to Jonathan Coachman standing by in Orlando. He'll have scores from earlier today, plus a look ahead as well, so you won't want to miss that. A lot going on here in week one. Four yards on the pickup there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Well, that's the second time he's been sacked so far in the first half, and if they have designs on having a big year, on going anywhere, they've got to find a way to keep him upright so he can throw the football. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Colts are going to take over, albeit deep in their own territory. First down, Prescott. Oh, he's trying for Smith Schuster, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the return here will go to the 31 yard line. You're trailing, you're trying to get points late in half. I absolutely understand that. But remember, it's all about the ball. And without the ball, you can't get those points. They just turned it over. Now you got to be careful because that deficit can get a little bigger on the other side with that good field position they just took over with. Hey, check 24. Watch 24. Check, 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 check. Go on, go on. Rush in. Rush in. Hit it. Out of the gun is Minshew. Looking for Marshall, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Darius Leonard, the linebacker. Marshall, the intended receiver. And Brandon, the passing game for both of these teams is going to be affected as the game goes along. It's not looking like the rain's going to let up anytime soon. So that might mean a few more wobbly passes and wide receiver slips. And this one winds up getting intercepted. Flush to his right. 
And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. On first and 10, Prescott. To the right side to Eric Ebron. Now a flag comes in from the umpire after a gain of about four. And this looks like it's going to be holding. And they'll let that play, the completed pass, stand as they decline the penalty. So do you get the sense they like their defense? Yeah, they wanted that next down to come up. Yeah, they weren't worried about the yardage there at all. Just what you said, let the downs trickle away. Prescott now on second down. Going deep downfield for Ross. And this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Final play of the half, Prescott. Throwing left side, it's complete. So we've reached halftime here in our initial Sunday night telecast of the new season. As we send you a couple hours south of here to Orlando, that's where we check in with a coach and our EA Sports halftime report. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. This fielded at the two. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. They'll run. Here's Harris. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. A loss of a yard. It's now third and 13. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Here we go, here we go. So third and long, here's Minshew. And going deep for Hill. And got his man complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 75 yards receiving for him now. And it's a first down. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. From the gun, Minshew to throw. He gets it complete to Harris. No gain on the play there. It'll be second down. That was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. It's third and ten. Let's get it. Hey, Charlie. Check Mike 54. Minshew throwing on third down. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. That one good for a gain of 13 for Jacksonville and a first down. This quarterback now, after the pick on the last drive, three for three to start this drive. It's first and 10. This one caught by his tight end, Oliver. A good pick up there, 26 yards. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Looking to throw it, Minshew eluding the pressure right. And they will be caught, but out of the end zone, says the field judge. It's ruled incomplete. 
They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. On second down, this is Harris. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. This has been a long drive. you got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? They'll run again with Harris. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. So put another three on the board. All things considered, a good opening drive to begin the third quarter. And as a defense, the way that this game is going, you're excited to see those points go on the board. Gives them a little bit of leeway to play with when they're out on the field, but they're real excited to see their offense score. Now they get to go out there and do their part. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Josh Allen, excellent job on that play. A big, big loss, 18 yards. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. On second down, here's a run with Mack. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. I don't know about you, partner, but I just came out of my chair. Big time run right there, and all of a sudden I realized... Didn't reach the chains, did he? <laughs> How do you go that far? Create that type of an explosive play that'll be a check and a plus on every grade sheet and still not get a first down. Yeah, they had put themselves in a bad spot, but a big gain, that helps. It's a seven-yard gain and good enough to move the chains. I feel kill. Kill, kill. Here's Prescott. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. But has not been the best game for him, but he definitely tried to get by with a little help from his friend there, trying to create a big play. Couldn't do it, fell incomplete, but you're right. It hasn't been a banner game here in the second half, just trying to get going. Big thing is trying to keep confidence up and continue to fire. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. What an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. Call that a 46-yard punt with a net of 40 on the six-yard return. And that will come the offense as they take over. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Back now in Jacksonville. It's Jaguar football here, and they'll look to extend their lead as we begin quarter at number four. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. First down, and they go back to Harris. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Throwing on second down. Minshew buying time to his left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. 
Defensive end gets in there that time. They were in a 4-3. What's the responsibility, the ends versus the tackles there, Charles? Well, most of the time, when you're talking about the ends, they're your pass rushers. They're, they're the guys that you turn loose to try and get to the guy who's going to throw the football. The tackles, usually more of the run-stuffing variety. But the way this game is advanced, you're wanting a little bit of everything out of all of your guys. But let's just go ahead and break it down and make it simple. The guy who's the right defensive end versus the right-handed quarterback, that's the blind side. He's going after the quarterback. He's going to put him on the ground. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. A big time return there, 40 yards. And the Colts are set up well as they take over first and 10 on the short side of the field. A first down throw for Prescott. There goes a deep ball in zone. And he's got his target. It's caught for a Colts touchdown. Paris Campbell, 33 yards. As they're now just an extra point away from getting back within one score. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. Count, count. 47. 54, Mike. It's been a long day for you. Mike's part four, Mike's part four. Prescott now. And they're going to get the two. It's caught. So they get the conversion. And now we're back to a one score game. This game back within a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. That'll be taken in the end zone. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. That last touchdown has made this really tight. They're clinging now to this slim lead. What, Jesus, second half, they only have a field goal. This offense needs to kick it into gear. The Colts are going to get him. Down he goes. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. A nice pick up there, 19 yards. And they're set up better for third. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. Uh-uh, he is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. It's and no down. move to get the it's offense clear. off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and He's one. He's checking crap. Hey, Zoom. Needing the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And he's not going to get there. Might have even lost a yard. He only needed a yard, but he couldn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. And the Colts are going to get the football in outstanding field position. Prescott on first down. And his throw here is incomplete. Eric Ebron, the big tight end, is intended target. But it's going to be second down. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. So the penalty certainly helps them out as they come up on second and five. Here we go, 46. 
Prescott from the gun. Campbell making the catch. That's good for an Indianapolis first down on the gain of 10. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so... Oh, no, he lost the football. And the Jags grab it. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. All these years we've been watching the game, I start... sense that whenever it rains out, those guys who have to touch the ball and carry it, they're extremely resentful about that weather. Yeah, I'm just happy I'm not resentful that we have a roof over our heads. I know that much. Yeah, maybe we won't fumble our play sheets here as we just saw the fumble happen on the field. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here on a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Boy, a tight game like this, fourth quarter, personal foul penalties, a no-no. Yeah, we know the emotions are running high. The tensions are the same. Who can control them best could ultimately win it. And now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. From the 41, Minshew, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Now, he's been a busy man out of the backfield. They've looked his way quite a bit so far in this game. Nice job there defensively, though, adjusting, because a couple of his earlier catches, he was wide open. Not that time. You mentioned the key word, adjustment. A better cover man on him now in space. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Whistles now in a timeout defensively. So a wise move as they'll use the first of their timeouts to force one more play before the two-minute warning. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. This one angles out of bounds in a good spot in the coffin corner. And they're going to mark this out of the five-yard line. You need to give the ball away here in the fourth quarter while you're just holding a slim lead. But that punt absolutely ideal they pin them inside the five yard line they give their defense a really nice opportunity what an opening weekend it's been already could the best finish be coming here on sunday night we'll find out as we come up on a first and ten a run by mac to start the drive and he will take this up to about the eight yard line we've got a one score game with inside of two minutes remaining So the Colts in possession of the football as we get your reset. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. He'll look to throw. Open man is Ross complete. And he'll go out of bounds after getting this across the 15. That's good for an Indianapolis first down on a gain of 10. a second and two after that last catch good for eight yards they'll look to throw and he can't get a throw off 
He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Josh Allen in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. And the Jags have five in the secondary here on third down. Back to throw. That's complete to Marlon Mack. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A very solid gain of 27. Back to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. He's back to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And that going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. Back-to-back -back big plays defensively. First the sack. Now they force the incompletion on third and long. Things looking pretty good for them. And this is where they have to be careful because they've got the momentum going their way. They will be really amped up to get to the quarterback. Look out. Draw, screen, something that could be used against them. Here's Prescott. Open man, Smith-Schuster. It's complete. Now the Colts will use their third and final timeout as they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. Oh, no, he lost the football. So this will be a win for Jacksonville. And partner, I must say, good to see you again. Been too long. And it's good to have football back, isn't it? Didn't you see me in preseason? Weren't we together in preseason? Yeah, but preseason, you know, it's preseason. This is week one. Oh, you're trying to say real football. Yeah, real football. Not preseason football yeah. where we shake down the rosters and figure out who's going to play. And maybe the starters don't play as much. Now it's the front line guys from the first whistle. Yeah, I tuned you out in the preseason. <laughs> and now I'm listening to you. So for Jacksonville, it was a hard-fought game, and they'll exit 1-0 as they win by a touchdown. And they'll get to stay home again next week. Meanwhile, for the Colts, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.